Hi, we're back, and guess what? We have a beautiful lady in, uh, coming up next, and her name is Jasmine Ford, and she is an artist. Hi, Jasmine. Hi. So nice to have you on. I was just telling her how much I like blue hair, and I never thought I would, but that's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let me tell me when you first thought about doing art. Um, well, I've always liked to sort of doodle and sketch since I was little, but mm -hmm. kind of seriously trying to like make it kind of a collective thing, probably maybe 2010. Oh. Yeah. Well, that's so. pretty, pretty current. Yeah, in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and did you do any kind of studying for the art or what? Um, no, not really. I haven't really had the chance to, just kind of built up on what I've got so far. Well, a lot of artists, my husband is a fantastic artist, and he oh. taught himself totally. He never had a lesson in his life, so. Yeah. You know, the point, the point is, if you really love it, you'll, you'll find the information. You'll dig it out. Mm, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, where, where are you, what, do you paint out of your home, or do you go to yeah. with other people? Or yeah, most of the time at the house, yeah. Sometimes I'll, you know, go out somewhere public and just kind of get a baseline down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you do uh, landscapes, or what do you put, would like, um, like to do? It's mostly just kind of uh, one sub subject type pieces. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times I'll see a pose, and just based on kind of the body language of it, I'll kind of see something else to kind of tack to it. Yeah. yeah. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. But that, that type of art, I think, is very, very creative. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of art these days that is just kind of, they use different mixed medias, and it kind of makes its own style. What, what media do you like? Um, right now, a lot of colored pencil, um, pencil, pen, and then I kind of do like a watercolor wash over it. It's just not what my, gut, my sister does. Oh, really? You can't, that's fantastic. That's cute. I don't think that many people will go to the trouble of working with pen, colored pencils. Yeah, I think it's, it's, I think it's funner for the blending. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you put the wash over it. She's doing things like that, too. That's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, are you uh, showing in any galleries now? Or? Um, not quite. I have in the past. I've done probably, I think I've done two or three. And one of them was at Art Hop. And then the other one was in front of um, my cousin's salon, which is kind of in the Art Hop area. But I like to at least pop out a few new ones before I do another show. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. that's great. Now, you do a lot of art or just once in a while or um I think they I probably can get one out there every few weeks or so oh yeah really good mm -hmm. most of them are kind of commission based right now so they kind of take a little longer for me to like think it's good enough to finish so yeah and did I ask you if you're in a gallery any any galleries anywhere? no yeah I just I um I've shown out a friend who has a studio mm -hmm. but yeah I don't personally like have one or go to one frequently so uh, are you going to go to art hop tomorrow um I might I think I'm actually working though <laughs> oh okay. yeah yeah that comes up once in a while you sort of have to stop everything at work <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh I think you and it brought some things in for uh that Robert can show on the screen. Oh yeah, I have so a few. If you want to talk about those when they come up, that would be great. Oh. That was a zombie piece for my friend. <laughs> He's a Walking Dead fan and I wanted to kind of do like a pop style thing. So that's a lot of pen work to make it pop with the oh, color. Oh gosh, yes. That's really interesting. And it used him for Halloween. Yeah. That one there is purely watercolor except for the mouth and the eyes, I believe. And that was actually like on a real small kind of cut square thing. So it was kind of a quick job, but I really like the colors. Uh, I like the animals are, are ripe. They're proportioned right. It's very good. <laughs> Thank you. That oh. there is like a, I called him like a war mongrel. He's like a combination of a few different anatomies and then his... Little spikes are laced with some <laughs> tattered ribbon type thing. Oh, I love it. It <laughs> reminds me of uh, what's a oh well, you know it has the uh, the wizard boss. Oh, okay. It's flying things. Yeah, the and, little monkey things. Yeah, <laughs> those are real. That's really interesting. And this is that's another type of kind of dog type thing with the skull face. Except that one's just dog body. 
The dog body's I think very that's, well done. I yeah. think that's mostly pencil and then like watercolor wash over it, like a gray. Huh. Yeah. Very good, very good. That one is actually from a picture of my friend and I, but I just kind of drew her. Um, she actually had that little mask on too. And actually, yeah, I think that one is just watercolor on top of her head. I think the rest is just kind of a wash. You do bodies and animals' bodies really well. Thank you. That is a, that is a, Still getting better. So that one's actually my favorite. I've used her a lot. She's the cover photo of um, my art page. And she was the first one from a long time ago that came out pretty anatomically correct, except for her hands. They're a little larger, but that kind of became a style of mine, too. Just the big <laughs> hands. So <laughs> okay, well, she's pretty should, cool. Because that's when your art becomes known when you stick to what you do and have something that recognize they recognize. As yeah. soon as they see that, so, oh, that's so and so. See, yeah. very good idea. That one is uh, an eyeball plant. I think I called it poisonous <laughs> iris oculus, something like that. Eyeball. And uh, I actually do that like at a restaurant one time, and then I decided to do it again later. And that was kind of the first piece that wasn't like an animal or a person that was completed, so I like that. Yeah, I do too. I like that. I like the way you blend the colors. And that there <laughs> is a little Tim Burton style piece for this little girl who colored a picture and brought it into me at work and I told her that I was gonna draw her something and give it to her when she came back. Oh cute. she said she likes koalas and cats. <laughs> And that is Medusa. I think I titled her Medusa the Witch because I wanted her to look kind of shaman. Oh, and man. those markings on her arm are actually um, African symbols for strength, love yourself, and I believe it was like have a good time or something like that. Wow. Like kind of enjoy what you've got. It's, it's very, very interesting. Thank you. That's a squirrel. <laughs> with a hat and a purse. That was for my friend. She actually has her own uh, lingerie line and uh, we're both obsessed with squirrels so we always tag each other in random stuff. So. Oh, we have a squirrel in the back that runs across <laughs> the cords in the back. We got a name for it and everything. That's a weird obsession to have. <laughs> I had a pet squirrel once. That's so cute. Yeah, it was darling. That one there is kind of like a, I was kind of feeling superhero-ish. Uh -huh. And I just really wanted to mess with, um, I guess you would say, kind of like a highlight, kind of ex like accentuations of like a vibrant color. And I was also trying to kind of mess with smoke. I still mm. haven't got very good at fire. Well, so, well, one thing at a time. But each, each thing you do, you gain yeah. your knowledge and your That's true. Purity. That one Ooh, wow. is Sir Nuna Lashed Me. She's like a combination of like Sir Nunes, which is like a wood god, and like uh, the Hindu god Lakshmi, and she, um, she's, I, th I think it's of like wealth and kind of prosperity type thing. So I was trying to kind of just mix them both, and she's kind of almost like a retake on one that a lot of people like too, with like the blindfold and yeah. stuff. Yeah, they're sort of flat chested. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, you know, everybody's going, yeah. going around. And uh, that was the one that was actually, uh, that a lot of people really liked, that I was trying to kind of redo, but I ended up kind of going a different direction. And originally, she's on a 18 by 24 inch, mm -hmm. and when I made prints, I was able to downsize her and finish her, because her feet were cut off at first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fabulous. Oh, my gosh. That oh my gosh. is a dragon unicorn for my friend's mom because she really likes them both, so I thought I'd try to <laughs> do a commission for her. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is great. That's great kind of a, a, kind of like a fan art, I guess you could see, or say. Mm -hmm. He's a dancer, uh, his name's Dominant, and I kind of want to do like a portrait type thing. That mm -hmm. one's mostly pencil and watercolor, mm -hmm. and then outline pen. Well, for, for not having training, your your proportions and your bodies for animals and people were excellent. That's what I solidly tried to kind of perfect. Yeah. That one was a commission for a friend. Mm. Um, that, in a long time, was one of the first ones that was just pencil. 
So it was kind of hard for me, especially to fill in the space since I've been doing watercolor for such a long time. Yeah, and, and a background. Most of mine That's don't have beautiful. backgrounds. That's really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I like these. <laughs> That's little, little Chihiro. Little kid things. She's mostly watercolor. I did that for a friend at work because she works like Chihiro. It's from a like an anime kind of cartoon. And then it was Easter time, so I put little eggs. <laughs> She's adorable. We yeah. got some nut with that one. Like that one. That one was one of the first ones that was super popular in like my first art hop. Uh, and she was one of my favorites too at the time because she was actually one of the first that I did the style as far as like all the medias in one with the mm -hmm. pencil, the watercolor, the colored pencil, and the oh, pen. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, so it's all of them in one. Yeah. <clears throat> what do you usually work on? What do you mean? Oh, paper. like um, yeah, like bristle paper, bristle. the real thick paper. Mm. Um, that's actually a portrait of my uh, friend's baby, and then I just added little kind of stick antlers to her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the, those are really, really great. I, I have to thank shake you your hand <laughs> because you're a very good gardener. Where can the people get your art? Uh, what was that? How, where can people get your art? Oh, um, I usually kind of do commission-based things. I'll tend to meet up with them. A lot of them are friends right now, friends mm -hmm. and family, friends of friends. So um, it would just kind of go through email probably, meet up, that kind of thing. Okay, so uh, another, when you finally get into a gallery, which I know won't be very long, mm. I would not love to have you come in again and uh, show me s some more of your stuff and tell or, or tell any any way that people can see more of your work or buy yeah. it. Yeah, of course. Okay, honey, thank you so thank much you for so coming much. in, Jasmine. It was really wonderful. It was nice to meet you. Th that same here, honey. Okay. Okay, that's going to do it for today, but come back next Thursday. We'll have more wonderful guests. Bye-bye.